I think it's very broadly a general consensus around the world that the global economy is set to slow down significantly uh, through the course of 2019 and even further into 2020. Uh, we're seeing all sorts of concerns out there at the moment, uh, increasing the uh, trade concerns, we're seeing con concerns about tightening liquidity as central banks remove quantitative easing from their agendas in the monetary system. We're going to see uh, liquidity being tightened and interest rates rise a little bit further from where we are right now. Uh, also, that means we're likely to see uh, differing responses from governments around the world. It means, I think, that uh, governments like Hong Kong need to consider what sort of stimulus or fiscal stimulus one needs to apply to this economy to prevent the worst effects of the slowdown that we're likely to see over the course of the coming one to two years. Uh, Hong Kong is far from immune uh, to these concerns. Uh, we're expecting to see the uh, problems from rising debt levels in many parts of the world, which could impact on uh, the banking system and the financial system around the world. These concerns, uh, I think, should be taken very seriously. And uh, we would expect that the Hong Kong government uh, begins to engage in the correct policy measures uh, to stave off the worst effects of this expected economic slowdown and the impacts that that is going to have on the Hong Kong economy.